Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, Dr. Sam's Biology. In this video, we will discuss difference between these three terms, sex immunity traits, sex influence trait, and sex link traits. So first we will discuss about sex limited trait. Any trait that is limited to one sex, that is visible only in one sex. However, genes for this trait are present in both male and female, but this gene is expressed only in one sex. That trait is called a sex limited trait. So suppose this is AZ, this is present in male and female both, but it is expressed, this gene is expressed only in male. It is not expressed in female. So the trait caused by that gene, that trait is called sex limited trait. An example of sex limited trait is gene for beard. The gene we know that in case of humans, beard is present only in male. However, gene for this beard is present in both male and female. But this gene is expressed only in male. So this is called sex limited trait. Now coming to sex influence trait. Any trait that is influenced by sex. However, gene for this trait is present on autosomes. But this trait is influenced by sex. In a heterozygous condition, in case of sex influence trait, one allele shows dominance in males and another shows dominance in female. So this is it. This is heterozygous. Capital X small. This capital S shows dominance in males and this small s shows dominance in females. So this is called sex influence trait. Here you can see that the trait is influenced by sex. For example, barrenness. This capital B gene causes barrenness and small b gene is for normal hair. If both capital B and capital B are present, then it will cause baldness in both male and female. In case of small b, small b, both male and female will be normal. But in case of heterozygous condition, if this heterozygous condition is present in male, then this capital B will act as dominant and will express itself and causes baldness. So it causes baldness in males. But if this heterozygous condition is present in female, then this small b, that is for normal hair, will act as dominant and here, or you can say, there will be normal hair, there will be no baldness. So here you can see that this trait is influenced by sex. This baldness trait is influenced by sex. In case of heterozygous, if it is present in male, then there will be baldness. If it is present in female, in case of heterozygous, then there will be no baldness. So these traits are influenced by sex. However, gene for this baldness is present in autosomes. Now coming to sex link trait. All the genes that are present on sex chromosomes are called sex linked gene, and trait caused by these genes are called sex link traits. In case of humans, we know that there are two sex chromosomes. One is X and another is Y. So all the genes present on X and Y are called sex-linked genes. And trait caused by them are called sex-linked traits. For example, hemophilia. We know that it is a condition or a disease that is related to blood clotting. So gene, so gene for this hemophilia is present on X chromosome. So this hemophilia trait is called sex link trait. So this is the difference between all these three traits. Sex limited trait. Trait is limited to only one sex. However, gene is present in both sexes, but it is limited to only one sex. In case of sex influence trait, the trait is influenced by sex. It behaves differently in different sexes. Sex linked trait. Any trait that is caused by sex linked gene, gene that is present on sex chromosome is called sex linked trait. So this is the difference between these all three terms.